editing thing is to listen to the music that you're probably going to use into the montage while you're editing the montage just to see if it'll go with the vibe. So you can jam out two songs like this while you're editing. After everything is rough cutted and I've added the text and the overlays, I will then add in audio and this will be the background music, the sound effects, and the aesthetically pleasing clips that I put over some artsy music. And say you have a video where you have music but you also have a voiceover, sometimes you want the music to be louder when the voiceover is not there. What I suggest doing is using the range selector tool. You press the R key and then you select the part of the music that you want to be louder. This is so much easier than cutting out a whole chunk of the music, making it louder, and then cutting out a whole chunk and making it lower. The next part is my favorite part, which is the aesthetics. For my filters, I use the Pixel Film Studios Fresh filters, and I usually use the ones Brighten, Soft, or Fresh Air, but I play around with them to my liking. And I will not go to every single clip and add in the filter. Oh, Geez, if you are doing that, this tip is literally your saving grace. You can just copy paste edits by doing Command C and then Command Shift V where you want to paste them. This can be volume, crop, transforming, or the filters that you use, or the color balancing, or whatever. And a little life hack for you guys is if you don't want to spend a ton of time or money buying filters and putting them on your videos, you can just take someone else's video that you really like the look of and you can download that. Then you can put it into your movie and I know that Final Cut Pro has this option. I don't know if iMovie does and then use the match color option so you can just basically match the color profiles that they had on that video to your video to make it look basically the same and that's definitely a little dupe instead of buying a whole pack of filters. After I am done doing all the edits to the bulk of the video, like the main part of the video, then I will make my artsy intro if it is needed for that video and this is basically just b-roll of clips put to cool music and basically just intros what's gonna happen in the video and also adds a really nice artsy element to it. I will go in the library of Final Cut Pro, look through all the clips and see which ones are the most aesthetically pleasing or show what I'm doing in the video the best and then I will find some music on those non-copyrighted sites, make the intro and that's probably one of like my favorite parts of editing. Also another tip is while your video is exporting, make sure that you take advantage of that time, don't just kind of like wait or like scroll on Instagram. I would suggest just making your thumbnail so what I always do is I usually just take a screenshot or if I was a good youtuber and took a actual thumbnail picture I will take that and then I will add text I will probably edit it using my Aspen Ovard presets and then I will upload it to YouTube let me know down below what other videos you want